looked at your paycheck this week? Chances are that bottom line is less than expected, and it's all because of the deal struck in Congress to bounce back after falling off the fiscal cliff. Not in Your Side's Maggie Vespa shows us how you got sold out and why your checks are coming up short. It's a tale being told across the country. I've had a second job. It's hard, you know, to be working you know, six days a week and only have one day off. This as millions today saw their first paycheck post fiscal cliff had been cut. And it's just it's not fair. It's all thanks to Washington's 11th hour deal, which put an end to a 2% payroll tax holiday. Congressman Raul Grijalva calls the sacrifice essential. It was part of uh, the compromise process uh, to keep uh, earned income tax credit there, uh, to keep the child credit there to keep the AMT okay. The extra cash collected under FICA or the Federal Insurance Contribution Act goes to fund Social Security. Continuing to take away from that trust fund in the long term hurts its solvency. A long term plan that means short term pain. Now a worker making $50,000 will rake in 1000 less each year, a difference of $38 every two weeks. So, what should you be doing now to compensate for the lost take home pay? January is a good month to take a look at one's budget. Financial advisor Ed Zekas recommends cutbacks start small. When you go out to dinner, uh, ordering a Coke or, or you know, Sprite or what have you, maybe you're just ordering water. Instead of going out to dinner five times a week, maybe you're going out four times a week. Next, to look into your recent past and divvy up dollars spent. Separate, is it a need or is it a, a, a want? Do I really need this or do I have a desire, I want that? Advice Zekas hopes will help families desperate to make up the difference. Maybe the, the government or the, our system all the way around would stop stealing from Peter to pay Paul because then Peter ends up with nothing. And Zeka says that want versus need logic can be applied to grocery shopping and impulse spending. And another cost saver, he says, plan out your route when running errands and carpooling, both of which help you save gas, of course. Making a budget is one thing, sticking mm -hmm. to it is another. Very true. Best advice? His advice, first of all, write your budget down so it feels more concrete. Also, keep track of it in a checkbook or on your phone, and also look for uh, wiggle room within the budget for unexpected expenses. Always looking for that. Absolutely.